Welcome to Mojo Travels, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons toe dip trips are the next big thing. Are you a fan of our videos? Be sure to subscribe to Mojo Travels and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at why this vacation phenomenon is becoming more prominent with the return of travel. Number 10, the missing link between vacation and staycation. For those who have never heard of a toe dip trip, it's essentially the middle ground between a full-blown vacation and a day-long staycation. When the pandemic hit, many of us adjusted by turning our homes into personal resorts. After more than a year though, we're getting sick of hanging out by the backyard pool and being restricted to local attractions. While travel is staging a comeback, not everyone is ready to travel abroad. This is why toe dip trips are so appealing. They maintain the convenience of a staycation, but there's more exploration involved, and you can get out of town for more than a day. Number 9. People are eager to travel again As more travel restrictions were put in place during the pandemic, countless individuals were left with no choice but to cancel their vacation plans. But the travel cravings eating away at people have only gotten stronger. Now that conditions are moving in the right direction, the urge to travel has skyrocketed. According to a Travelocity study, 60% of travellers are comfortable enough to get back out there. Many are planning to take a trip at some point over the next several months. It's safe to say that a fair deal of these trips will be of the toe dip variety. There's nothing like feeding the travel bug an appetizer before the main course. Number 8. Hotel Deals the hotel industry wants nothing more than to restore faith in travel. As such, various hotels are offering sweet deals to entice potential patrons. Some discounts range from 10 to 40% off, with free cancellations and adjustments. Arizona, California, Nevada, Florida, and Hawaii are among the most scenic states where you can save money on a room. Orlando and Las Vegas, in particular, offer an array of vacation packages to choose from. These deals have played a key role in reviving travel and sparking an interest in toe dip trips. After all, nobody wants to spend too much money on a brief getaway. Hotels are also striving to provide visitors with clean environments to stay in, which brings us to our next entry. Number 7. Safety First As excited as people are to travel again, safety remains a primary concern. Many people think that the pandemic will significantly or completely change travel, and with good reason. Cleanliness and safe transportation will definitely be very important while traveling. Toe dip trips align with the new safety measures that many destinations are adopting, as tourists won't have to journey overly far or for a long period. Travelers will generally stay in one area, as opposed to hopping around. This decreases the likelihood of something going wrong, and it'll also give vacationers a good sense of how to travel safely in this changing landscape. Plus, if you get, uh, cold feet, toe dip trips are easier to call off at the last minute. Number 6. Family Fun It only makes sense that toe dip trips might prove especially popular among families. After a year of taking classes on Zoom and having to sit around the house, your kids deserve a change of scenery. If you're traveling with little ones though, you probably won't want to go anywhere too crowded or far. After all, kids aren't being vaccinated like adults are. On a toe dip trip, you can find a spot that's safe, familiar, and practical, but still fun and lighthearted for the whole family. It's the next step up from a safe-cation. By the time you're ready for a bigger trip, you and your family might choose to swim out of the shallow waters. Number 5. Weekend Getaway the average vacation lasts about one or two weeks, while a staycation is essentially a day trip. Toe dip trips are designed to be a touch longer than staycations, but shorter than full-blown vacations. Ideally, travelers will leave on a Friday and enjoy a relaxing weekend. Of course, if it's the summer season, you may be tempted to slip out in the middle of the work week for a couple of days. Whatever suits your schedule, you'll be gone long enough to scratch the travel itch, with enough room left over for future adventures. 
Weekend getaways are definitely going to be more popular. Chicago, Detroit, Minneapolis and other Midwest cities have always been among the most popular destinations to spend a weekend. Number 4. Close-ish to home Whether it's Paris, Brazil or Japan, everyone has a bucket list destination or two that they're keen on crossing off. If you haven't travelled in a while, however, you might not want to stray too far from home. So for many it's time to pack up the car or book a short flight to a neighbouring city or state. Maybe it's a favourite spot you haven't been to since the pandemic started. Maybe it's somewhere that you've been meaning to check out but never got round to it. In any case, it's comforting to know that home is only a day or less away. At the same time, you'll have ventured just far enough to feel homesick after the weekend is over. Number 3. Restoring confidence in travel even with masks, vaccinations and hand sanitizer, travelling after such a lengthy hiatus can feel kind of weird. We're all out of practice. For anyone who's on the fence, a toe dip trip will help ease you back into the travel groove. Boarding a plane or driving out of town again may take some getting used to. Likewise, the new safety measures that come with travel will require some adjustments. This is why you may want to start with a destination you know your way around. The familiarity can provide a sense of comfort. And once your trip's over, you'll not only feel better about travelling, odds are you'll be pumped to plan a more extravagant trip. Number 2. The places you'll go We already touched upon a few Midwest American cities, but what are some other hotspots for a toe dip trip? Of course, it largely depends on where you live and what's within a reasonable distance, although Tennessee has been among the most popular destinations for families so far this year. If your home is more western, a mountain town or lake may be the way to go. The great outdoors in general is appropriate for social distancing. Wherever you select, getting there can be half the fun. A beach or lake trip will allow you to get your feet wet in more ways than one. Number 1. A trial run before your next big vacation The best part of a toe dip trip is that it's only the beginning. It's all heighten your desire to see more of the world, while also providing the self-assurance needed to expand your horizons. Once you've dipped your toes back into travel, the deep end will be ready for you. The question is how deep you'll be willing to dive next. Some of us may be eager to travel from California to New York or vice versa. Others may go a step beyond, booking a longer vacation. Of course, taking a few more toe dip trips first won't hurt either. There's no pressure. Everyone learns to swim at a different pace. The first step, though, means testing out the water. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Mojo Travels, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.